Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build, 25276, which is released to the dev channel. Starting with this build, Microsoft is releasing ISOs for this build, which can be downloaded from the link given below in the description. Talking about what is new in this build, you can now create leave a kernel memory dumps in Task Manager. To capture a live kernel memory dump, go to the details page in Task Manager. Right click on the system process and the context menu should light up to show, create live kernel memory dump file, to capture a full live kernel or kernel stack memory dumps, the dumps will be written to a fixed location. You can also go to the task manager settings page to view or edit, the settings for live kernel memory dumps. Talking about another update, Microsoft updates cloud storage and settings for Windows 11. Now a consolidated storage quota bar is shown on the accounts page, in the settings app with a banner that will alert you if you're running low on storage. Also with this build, previews of the Apple Music, Apple TV, and Apple Devices apps are available in the Microsoft Store on Windows 11, limited to the US. Moreover, Microsoft is replacing the network troubleshooter in the OS, with the new network connectivity troubleshooting experience, through the Get Help app. So, these were the new things introduced to this build, talking about the changes and improvements, for general changes and improvements, Microsoft has updated the dialog that shows, when an app has a known compatibility issue to use the new Windows 11 design. The dialog is a work in progress, and you may see issues with it in the dark theme. For start changes and improvements, the search box design in the start menu has been updated, with more rounded corners, to reflect the design of the search box on the taskbar. For Windows security changes and improvements, Microsoft is temporarily disabling the updated Windows security, firewall, notification dialogs, that match the Windows 11 visuals. Microsoft will reintroduce this change in a future flight after addressing some bugs. So, these were the changes and improvements made to this build. Talking about the fixes for this build, for the taskbar and system tray fixes, fixed an issue, where switching windows through taskbar previews wasn't working. Fixed multiple explorer.exe crashes affecting the system tray. Also, when opening a flyout from the taskbar, pressing the escape key to close the flyout, should now return the keyboard focus, to the button it was invoked from. For the search on the taskbar, fix the layout issues with the text in the search box on the taskbar, when using right to left display languages like Arabic. Fixed an issue where the selected search style, in taskbar settings, wasn't persisting across updates. This setting should persist now on subsequent insider preview build upgrades. For file explorer, fixed an explorer.exe crash which could happen when opening file explorer, related to loading your recent files. For widgets, fixed an issue, where the widgets board will get stuck open in an invisible state for insiders in China, and potentially others, causing clicks on the left side of the screen to not work. If you're continuing to experience this, please make sure to check the Microsoft Store for the latest app updates. So, that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog, from the description. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.